guys welcome back so this is a continuation of our previous video where we were able to achieve this wonderful design where we created this spinning text animation effect on hover on on scrolling and also infinite rotation as you can see here so in this tutorial i'm going to show you another use case scenario another way we can make use of this circular spinning text on our website to spice things up so we're just going to make use of this container here and i'm going to go to the style option for this container and I'm going to change the color here to black so we can see what we're working with. I'm going to come over to the layout, justify content to the center, align items to the center, and set the direction here to column vertical, depending on how you want it. It could be column horizontal vertical, depending on your layout of your design. Okay, I'm going to click on this plus icon here, drag this container and drop it here. Now for this container here, I'm going to set the width to pixel, and I'm going to give it a width of 150 and then a minimum height of 150 as well so we'll have this square like shape then i'm going to come over to the widget area and search for the text path widget like we used in our previous tutorial drag it and drop it here then i'm going to come over to the style option and change the color to white so we can see what we're working with like that okay i'm going to go back to this container here this inner container here another layout i'm going to come here make sure i justify content to the center and then align items to the center as well okay and also direction here set the direction to column vertical okay now i'm going to go back to this text part now for the content i'm going to change the content here make use of the same content i used in our previous tutorial which is creative arena and then i'm going to go back to our i2 symbols here and copy this star symbol here not to worry i'm going to provide a link of this website in the description of this tutorial video for you to access all right so i'm going to come back here and i'm going to paste it here and then i'm going to copy this and then duplicate it again all right and then i'm going to come over to the path type set the path to circle and we'll now have something like this i'm going to go to the style option now for the size i'm going to reduce the size here to 130 pixel come over to the typography for the font i'm going to leave the font family at as default and then for the size i'm going to increase the size to 33 pixel okay now we can see that we still have a space here it's not yet a perfect cycle so to fix this i'm going to come down here to the letter spacing just like i did in our previous video change the unit to rm and then i'm going to come over here give it a value of 0.5 rm i will now have this perfect cycle here okay the work is not yet completed now the next thing we're going to do here we're going to come over to our widget area and i'm going to search for the icon widget and i'm going to drag this and drop it right above here now for this icon here i'm going to set the view to stack and then for the icon i'm going to come over here and search for arrow okay now i can make use of any arrow here depending on the project you're working on but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to make use of this location arrow here which kind of looks nice i'm going to add it insert it and then i'm going to come over to the style option and tweak the icon a little bit for the primary color i'm going to set it to red and then for the secondary color i'm going to set it to white for the hover i'm going to do the reverse case here which means the primary color is now going to be white and then the secondary color is now going to be red okay so now when you hover you now have this then i'm going to come over to the hover animation and give it set the animation to group so when you hover you have this growing effect then i'm going to come back to the icon size i'm going to give you the value for the five okay so we now have it like this which is great so now the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to come down to the text part now for the text part i'm going to go to the advanced settings and set the position to absolute and then i'm going to come down here for the horizontal orientation offset i'm going to delete this zero so it's empty and then for the vertical i'm going to do the same delete the zero so it's empty now we've successfully and perfectly placed this text here okay so now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this icon here clickable so that when we hover our hover effect shows whenever we hover on the icon. Okay, so I'm going to go to the icon and then to do that, I'll just come down to the advanced settings and give it a Z index higher than that of the text part, which is 10. Now if you hover, you can see and I have this hover effect. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to add our animation effect to this so to the text part we're going to come down here to the motion effect and i'm going to toggle the scrolling effect now come down to the rotation 
and I'm going to leave the direction to the left and increase the speed to 1.5 and leave the viewpoint as it is. So now when you screw, you're going to have this rotation effect here. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the infinite rotation effect as well. So to do so, I'm just going to come down here to the custom CSS and add some line of CSS code. Okay. So I'll head over to my VS code editor and I'm going to copy out this code here. And I'm going to come back here and then I'm going to paste it here. Okay, as you can see, it's not rotating here. This is where you can set the rotation speed here. You can increase it or decrease it as the case may be. Okay, and not to worry, I'm going to add pin this code on the first comment on this video so you can access it for free. Okay, so now that we're done that, you can see our effect is not taking place wonderfully. And when you scroll as well, you can still see the effect working. Okay. Now that we've done this and everything that looks great, you can just place this anywhere on your website and it's going to look great. Okay. So to place it on your website, before we do that, let's try to make this clickable. So the best possible way to make this clickable is to come over to this container here, which contains the icon and the text pad. Now for this container, you go to the layout, come down here to the additional option and for the HTML tag, you're going to come down here to where you have the e link set it. And then this is where you're going to add your link and make sure once you do this you do not add any link on the icon or the text pad because both widgets have options for you to add links so do not do that once you're going to make use of the container as the link okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do we're going to try to place this anywhere on our website which is pretty easy still on this inner container here you're just going to go to the advanced settings you're going to come over here to the position now you can either use set the position to absolute depending on where you want to place it, especially within a container, or you can set it to fixed in a situation where you want to, you know, do something like this. You can just move it anywhere, anywhere on your website. Okay. And then when you do that, say, take for instance, we want to place it here on our website. First, we're going to come over here on this container and make sure we set the Z index to the highest index on the website. So it's above any other widget or container on our project. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to set the horizontal offset to 20 pixel. And then for the vertical offset, we're going to set it to 20 pixel as well. So we now see we've perfectly placed it here with the create. And we can see that we now have some, the, the, the text part is not perfectly placed. Well, so to fix that, we're going to come over here for the text part. We're going to go to the advanced settings of the margin. We're going to make it of the margin to correct it. So we're going to give it a margin of minus five. Okay. So now it looks great and perfectly circled. Okay. So now you can see now we've successfully added this design here. And when you scroll, you can see the effect taking place. Okay. Now this container here has white background. So we can just change it to uh, black as well. So our design is visible now you can see successfully so added this on our website and you can place it anywhere on the website okay so that's pretty much it about this tutorial i hope you've learned something new if you've learned something new from this tutorial please remember to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can see it as well and if you are new to our channel remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when i drop a new video but until then see you on our next video Bye bye